Hi everyone, this is Sam again with my first video update on my second diesel motorcycle project that I've been working on. Just wanted to give you guys an update on how everything is going so far. I started out with a 840cc V-twin diesel engine just like the Yanmar clone that I had on my first bike. Except this time it has twin turbochargers of the RHB31, uh, the same Suzuki Swift intercooler off of my first bike. Um, this time around I went uh, a little different with everything. It's a hydrostatic drive so it's got a hydraulic pump directly coupled to the back of the engine and allow that allows me to supply hydraulic fluid to the front and rear hub motors which are Eaton hub motors and the fuel tanks that I'm using down there originally were one and a half gallon air tanks and I added some cones and fins to the back of them to give them kind of a bomb look to them because I'm going with a bomber theme on this particular bike. The backbone of the motorcycle is made out of four inch tubing and that's where I'm going to store all the hydraulic fluid for the hydrostatic system. I've got two hydraulic oil coolers mounted on the bike with some handmade sheet metal hood scoops to go on the outside to help kind of tunnel ram the air uh, through the actual coolers. The bike has air ride suspension on the front and rear and that allows me to sit the bike on the ground just like this. And uh, when I'm ready to go, all I have to do is just air up the bags and the bike will lift off the ground and give me the proper ride height so I can roll on down the road. And when I get to where I'm going, instead of flipping out a kickstand and leaning it over, all I have to do is bleed off the air pressure and the bike sits right back down on the ground again like it is right here. Um, I've done an in inverted handlebar system um, just to make it a little different. Uh, technically, when you're driving the bike, it'll still have the same feel as a normal motorcycle because it has a pivot point here in the middle that allows the handlebars to pivot back and forth. And uh, even though it kind of looks like a Star Wars pod racer, uh, it doesn't actually have like a zero turn lawnmower feel to the steering. It's actually more of a standard motorcycle. The uh, handlebars up here are going to have a clutch and a brake set up um, that are cable operated down to hydraulic valves that will be stored right there next to the pump. Uh, the bike still has a good ways to go, but I figured I should go ahead and put up a video to kind of show what I've been able to build so far. And uh, if anybody has any comments or suggestions on the bike, and the directions I sh might be able to go in, please let me know.